All right, guys, welcome back to the channel once again. And today we're gonna be talking about the error handling. So we'll do some error handling and exceptions handling into the last repo. Like uh, the, in the last video, I shown you like uh, how we can create the CRUD APIs for the Django project. In the Django REST framework, we worked on so we created some REST API like create read update delete. So we're gonna do some error handling into the. Let's suppose uh, we miss some data or we don't we have some error or something like that so that kind of error handling we're gonna do okay so let's do let's start from the create api so we're gonna do some we're gonna put it inside the try and catch so just put it inside the try and just uh, do some catch so not catch into the it it is an exception and as e and inside that just we're gonna do response equals to json response and we need to pass the dictionary inside there so i'm just going to do this like message as e dot args okay so argument like whatever the error gonna come so the message gonna be coming to the argument so you will see over the list of messages to come and after that just get the response dot status not over here dot status co equals to 500 so let's remove the status code first for us time being and just return this response and let's see what we are getting okay so we're gonna be using this create api let's go into the create api so how we can throw the error let's remove one thing from here description part okay and just uh, put some name over there remove this comma and just send okay so you can see we are receiving the description part because description is missing and if i remove this name as well so I'm removing, I'm getting the name over here because name is missing over here. Okay, so that's the thing is coming over here. And let's put both of things over there and put the name to do. Okay, and let's create this. So you can see I got I got the data and I'm getting the to do one and this is the to do app. And let's uh, do the same thing into this. Uh, so you can put your error message as well over here, like uh, remove this e.arcs from here and just put directly server error directly okay and we can make the validation for this like uh, like we do like validate the data like name key is coming into the request or data or description key is coming if it is not coming so that we can raise the another exception over here like 404 or something 400 bad request exception so we can directly raise it from here like this raise and bad request something like that okay so you can just import the exceptions uh, exceptions from here like into the django rest framework so you can see i have done that not found so apart from this api exception so there are so many things that you can use or they, uh, th so many exceptions like you can find into the django rest paper documentation so th those you can use so let's go into the another so we are finding one id over here uh, finding one to do over here on the basis of id so you can see i have already included the exception over here not today if there's no to do so it's gonna throw us the exception it will raise and it will throw us 404 not found error over here okay so let's go and try this how it works so just uh, over there so we have recently created this one so just copy this id and just go into the get and paste it v okay control z over this, this okay just go into the post api just copy this one again i don't know what is happening with the postman we paste this control c go over here remove this api paste new one send so you can see we are receiving the to-do app and let's change some of the characters into this API like I just change it to A and send it so you can see I'm getting the to-do not found okay into this one and let's uh, let's go and just put it into the try and catch so try and accept response equals to json response so data equals to your message comma e dot args and just return response okay let's see what we are getting and just say so we got some error why the response is not working because we have done one mistake over here json e dot args name e is not defined because e is not defined over here that's why so exceptions e we can put let's see now it worked or not okay again it's not working so what we need to do exactly we need to write it like this exceptions 
as E. So whatever the exceptions you have been raised, it's going to be come inside this E and after that you can get the data like what the error message and what why why this exception is getting raised and why this is coming into the accept in the catch block. So let's see. Now, so you can see we got this to do not found. Okay. But we are receiving 200 response. Why is that? That should not happen. So we are just receiving 200 response just because we haven't put the status code for that. So we need to define the status code over here. Response dot status code equals to 500. Okay. Because it's going into the accept. So that's why 500 internals are available. So you can see directly we are getting. Same thing we need to do over here as well because it will throw us the 200 response. So that we should not do. So we can see to do not found. Okay, into the uh, create. So just remove both of these and just put it. So you can see also we got error message server error and 500 internal server error. So that's how you can do the exception handling. So we can do in all of the functions and we can get the key, get the error like uh, whenever like something happened into your app and wherever it breaks. So it will throw you the inside the exception and you will get to know like where the exactly error is coming from or something like that. So there's also like decorator we can use for validation of data or validation check like before go executing this function you can just directly go into the decorator and you can check like what validation you need to do exactly so you can raise the exception over here apart from coming into this function and checking all this so that's why we need to define the decorator so mostly we use the decorator in function based view that's it from this video and thank you so much guys thank you for watching we'll meet in the next video with a different topic into the Django.